Won't you take me back to Tennessee? Hello everybody, it's Jason Harmon and this week we are dropping the tailgate on a Grundy County squirrel hunt. I'm here with Nick and uh, Brandon and we're going to talk about how the days went and kind of how this hunt came together. So first I guess I want to start with Nick. Man, you, you contacted me about three years ago now. This is the third annual hunt and you said, hey, I need some help. Can you help me get some sponsors or help bring some swag and things like that? That's when I first learned about this. Tell me how this hunt came about. Actually. I, I think we discussed it earlier today, but uh, really what had happened was is I had just got my, my squirrel dog, got copper, and uh, we had just started doing some competition squirrel hunts. So I've uh, been talking to Brandon, me and Brandon have been buddies for quite a while now. I was talking to Brandon about it, and he kind of brought this idea up, which is kind of funny that he had brought the idea up about doing some kind of youth event because my wife and I, not maybe a week before that, had been talking about trying to get the youth, somehow to get the youth involved. So the next week when I was talking to Brown, I said, man, this is weird, you know, you, I can't believe you're bringing this up. And I don't know if you remember that, but, but it, was, it was just strange and that's kind of where it took off. We just kind of two like-minded people uh, wanting to involve the youth in as much as we can and awesome. that's, that's where it took off. He had such a passion for hunting squirrels with dogs and I had a passion for you know getting the kids involved and I had the contacts with the landowners and I knew they would be more than happy to host us so yeah. I said hey man if you can get some more people like you that can provide the dogs and get down here and bring some kids into the into the squirrel dog hunting atmosphere I said it'd be awesome I think it would be successful and he said man let's try it so yeah. the first year I think we ended up killing maybe seven squirrels last year it was 14 all together with the group but you got to think about what we've got going on we've got a lot of kids this, this may be their very first opportunity to actually hunt and uh, you know I, I have uh, most of the time I have a lot of kids that they may do their hunter safety course just to go on this hunt so it's really good for encouraging them but we ain't going for numbers we're just going for experience hold it up block it down or up Put it on your shoulder. Now put that bead right on that fur ball. That's just there. There you go. Oh. Good job. Get him, Gobbert. Get him, Gobbert. Get him, Gobbert. Get him, Gobbert. Oh, yeah. There's no way he's not pulling his memory all the time. Finally, I can't believe that. <laughs> What's been your favorite part of this hunt so far? Um, shooting, shooting it. squirrels. Yeah, the shooting part. It's it, it scares you when you first do it. <laughs> yes, it, but it and the gun really, really noisy when you shoot. It's really fun. <laughs> yes, and I love just seeing the dogs trim. And it's really cool. What do you think? His tail. Excited. It's cool. Well, let's touch on the landowners. I mean, they've been gracious today. Uh, like I said, this is third annual hunt, and you probably had some repeat customers on land. You probably got some new landowners in the mix, but I mean, we're, we were all over Grundy County today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The, the majority of our hunt this uh, this year was uh, all in, or actually all of it was in Grundy County inside of the Pelham area. Okay. And it kind of worked out because we didn't get, we weren't able to get our venue because it was already booked uh, for today. And I talked to Brandon, I was like, hey man, you know, help me get some kind of venue here. I don't know where to go, you know, we're in a pickle. And he was actually able to talk to the people here at the Chapman Cha Chapel Nazarene uh, Church. And, awesome. and Brian Gillum, uh, the preacher here, was actually, you know, he was all for it, just pumped up about it. Well, on top of the, the pastor here and, and the church, 
and the landowners, you had a lot of sponsors. Let's touch on those guys. I mean, uh, uh, gun stores and, and auto parts stores looked like just a bunch of people jumped in and, and donated stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know, I had a lot of people this year. It was uh, Once they hear that you've got a, a youth event going, you have more people reaching out actually wanting to help out with it. You know, more people were reaching out to me and saying, hey, I heard about or I saw your Facebook post from last year. Hey, I noticed that TWRA is sponsoring your youth hunt this year. Yeah. You know, what can we do to help? But you know, I had several people that come to me saying, hey, what can we do to help out? And, and that's where it's at. You know, if I didn't have my sponsors as far as, uh, you know, just our local sponsors, C.W. Price with uh, Odd Shop Outdoors, Campbell's Armory, Castles down in Dunlap, you know, people like that. If you don't have those people, Streets Auto Parts up in Tracy, uh, if you don't have, you know, an, an air conditioning place like uh, Quality Heating and Air with Randy Butner, if you don't have those local guys yeah. that are willing to put their money into something that they believe in, you're not going to have a hunt. That's just all there, there is to it. You know, you can have all the big sponsors that you want, but they get thousands of calls a day, yeah. you know, for, for some kind of sponsorship. And it's the local guys that really, really impressed us this year. That's awesome. Obviously, all that leads up to what the day was all about was out there squirrel hunting and, and getting these kids out and experiencing the outdoors. So, talk a little bit about our hunt. I mean, when you and I were together today, it was a fun day. We were on squirrels and and the kids were shooting a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, a 410 can only reach so far, and that's kind of the only uh, only ammo that we had, the only guns that we had. And whenever a squirrel perches up in the very tip top of the tree, you're not going to do much. It doesn't matter what kind of choke you've got with uh, with the 410. It looks like they're trying to finish off the ones that we killed today. Uh, but yeah, so, so your kids and and or your kid and, and then the group that you had with with yeah. Evan and them, you know, uh, that was you kind of had Evan's a three-time Pete. You know, yeah, three, he's been three Pete is what I, I'm yeah. going to call him. You know, he's come he's come from the beginning. How far away does he live? Up near Jonesboro. Yeah, it's Jonesboro. What like four, four hours? hours? Yeah. Four hour drive and you've got that guy that's driving up here four hours for the past three years and not only was he bringing his son, now he's bringing his two daughters, yeah. you know, and that was their first hunt that from what I understand. Yeah, I think so. And they actually got to shoot at some meat up in a tree. And that, man, that's so cool <laughs> but to yeah. get uh, two young girls in, involved in something like this. But as far as our hunt goes, you know, it was it seemed like it was action first thing. Yeah, uh, yeah we were on. You know, we, we walked back into the woods there or actually out in the field where we had a uh, the Elk River that goes through this property and, and we kind of hung around that the majority of the time. So whenever we did get out there, you know, Copper and Maggie, they just started popping them off. They were really impressed with us. Um, but yeah, you know, if, uh, you can kill more squirrels if you had adults shooting, but that's, that's not what the event's about, right? I mean, it's about getting the kids involved and especially kids that have never done this before. Uh, you have them, get them out, let them shoot the squirrel. If the squirrel gets away, if it makes it to the nest, if it makes it to a den, oh well, you know, it's about the experience. It has nothing to do with uh, who brings back the most squirrels. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's been a great a great event. I, I hate I hadn't been able to come before now, but I'm gonna try to make this, a, I'm, I'm gonna try to be a three-peater. You know? <laughs> Keep coming back, bring my daughter next time, and, and just have a good time. I know these kids had an awesome time. And, uh, you know, seeing the smiles on their faces makes it worth it. Yeah, so, absolutely. Well, appreciate you guys. Thanks for everything y'all done and y'all do for, for the community here. And uh, Thank you all for watching and tuning in. Uh, this is the Drop the Tailgate, and uh, we'll see you next time in the Tennessee Great Outdoors.